So I haven't been getting a lot of work done lately, not for the past couple days anyway, that I discovered this game, Heartwood Online. I've been really enjoying this. A friend told me about it because he discovered it and was like, hey, this is, reminded him of a game that we used to play back in the late 90s, Nexus, The Kingdom of the Winds. That game stuck in my brain. I can never stop thinking about it. I loved it back then. I don't like it now so much, but I love that game. And this does remind me a little bit of it. So this game is a free-to-play game. It is available through Steam. It's an early access. You can also play it through iOS, you know, App Store, or on Android devices uh, through the Play Store. And everything is cross-play. Everybody plays together. That's the cool thing. I've been playing on my phone every once in a while. I like playing on the uh, PC, though. Just plays a little better. But here's my character, Chota Boy. He's a level 15 rogue. That's what I'm talking about. So this is this is kind of interesting. So if you go to select world, there's all these different servers. So if you reserve a name, that name is across every server because you could pick a different server every time you play. Now you'll see there's not a lot of people on each server right now. Some of the Asian ones, there's a, a lot more than the others. Typically, lately, being at a level 15, I've been trying to find a, a smaller server with less people, which is not normally what I like to do. And I'll explain in a moment why. But yeah, you could just pick server, find your friends. Everybody's throughout the whole thing, uh, jump in and out. You know, if a friend wound up being on a different server, you could just go in there, choose server, tell them to go on your, whatever, right? Looks like you have four slots to create characters. Uh, so you just click create a character, put a name, choose your hair, choose your hair color, choose your skin color. And then choose if you want to be a warrior, so your tank guy, rogue, your your quick, uh, you know, damage guy. Your I want to say poet because of nexus, but it's a, a priest, your heal, healer, and then your mage. So you know your spellcaster, right? I'm not going to create a new character, but let's get Chota Boy in the game. So there we go. We're in Redwood right now. Early access. So all the servers, the same area, same game, all that kind of stuff, right? So this is where you'll start. You'll kill little little freaking rabbits and stuff. Uh, with the PC, you'll just click on them with your, your mouse, left click attacks and interacts with things, picks up items, WASD to, to walk around. And then you'll see down here, I have a few abilities. I've unlocked three so far. So one, two, three on the numbers right there on the keyboard. And you got that going. So once you start the game, there's a lot of stuff you could do. Kill, I mean, not a ton, but to get started, there's quite a few things. You might be a little overwhelmed. Kill these little rabbits and whatnot. Collect the items they drop. Talk to this fur trapper guy. He'll give you some quests. First one, I believe, is something to do with collecting stuff from the rabbits. Turn it in, and then you'll get to select like a new weapon type of thing. There'll always be like some kind of reward. This quest right now is like the final one through him because this game is a work in progress. Early access. There's still a lot in the works right now, but it's kind of cool getting in early. I, I like that, but I'm kind of almost at a standstill right now. This quest, you can't do it. You got to collect 100 wool. There's no sheep, but they're coming. Hopefully soon. Be it that it's cross-play through multiple, you know, uh, game site, you know, uh, iOS, the App Store, uh, the Play Store through Android and then Steam. Like, I think they have to have everything approved and then have everything go live at the same time with this type of stuff. Uh, otherwise, it just doesn't really work. So... Just kind of waiting right now. This just came out a few weeks ago. But once you're done with that, all that, uh, you'll probably have to get antlers at some point. So you'll be coming up here, leveling up, fighting these deer. Then eventually you'll get up here. And I'm going to show you why I try to select a server with less people. Because the, the, these deer stags here, you see there's a few people up here fighting these guys. Usually there's higher level people, like level 18, uh, 20. Like this guy's level 20. Uh, that kind of thing, like around that. Some of these guys are just leveling up or doing their quest. But you'll see a lot of people in their like 15 to level 20 up here hanging out. Now, if I try to kill one of these guys, um, I'm going to show you. I don't get any experience from them. Once you get so strong, you don't get experience from things anymore. So why would people be hanging out up here? Because there's a rare spawn, the Elder Stag. And I've been confused as to why like these fools are up here hanging out for them. Is he does have like a rare drop, you know, you get like a, a thing to blacksmith a different helmet type of thing or various other items. But really, it's because it's a level 20 enemy and he gives experience. It's the only real way you could level up right now once you get to a certain point because the game's just not complete. There's not a lot of area right now. You can mine, 
collect coals, you know, stuff like that, copper, and then, you know, smelt all that stuff into copper bars. But let's go back to the front part, the, the safe area. Down here, oh my God, I'm getting stuck. Down here, there is a uh, graveyard if you die. I don't think there's a penalty right now for dying, but you could respawn in there. Uh, once you do all that, this guy's like a general merchant guy. Then there's a bank to bank your stuff. This guy, you could buy weapons, sell your stuff. I would recommend not selling too much because you do want to do the crafting. Level up your crafting. If you're getting in this early, that's going to be one of the big things you do. This is a very grindy game. Some people love that. Some people don't. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. But right now, it's gotten to the point where it's too grindy because there's not enough to do. Here, you could craft uh, through blacksmithing. But then once you do all that, uh, you'll you'll be led this way once you're like not getting experience points anymore. And this will be part of a quest. All these you could get cotton from, start making cloth, that kind of thing. Get leather from cert all these uh, animals to do leather crafting. But like these boars, there's a rare boar as well. They're like boss creatures. They have rare drops. Uh, they're higher level. I think the rare boss over here is level 16. But yeah, if I kill like these level 11 guys, I get no experience from them. I think for me right now, the cutoff is level 12 and I barely get experience from them. But up here is like another little village area with some merchants, leather crafting, stuff like that, uh, blacksmithing, and then this chick right here who gives a quest. This quest is about some dude that went out and they don't know where he is. You gotta find his uh, bag. They fear that the worst has happened to him, so you gotta find the hunter's bag or whatever. And the thing is, if you find it from any of these creatures, there's a chance you could get this love letter once you open it, but there could also be other items. So it's very rare and difficult to get this item to complete this quest. It's possible, but it's it's a little difficult, right? So you'll go this way. That first guy, the fur trapper guy, there'll be a quest where you got to get feathers and you'll fight these birds over here. There's also another, um, another graveyard up here to respawn. So if you die over here, you could just respawn right here. And then over here, there's these skeletons. All these dead, and they're, they are a little tough though, be honest with you, these guys are a little tough. Like if, if, if I'm not like overwhelmed, I can I can handle these guys. I can handle them. And these guys, the, the skeletons, they will drop bones, which you also need for a quest. Uh, the fur trapper guy collects so many bones, then you'll get uh, this item, the bone collar. Uh, you can get eight plus magic plus uh, eight to your attack. This guy's got a mining helmet. You get that from these skeletons and there is a rare skeleton as well who's wearing that hat. I don't know what's more likely to drop it, but this is essentially it. This is it right here. There is a cave up here that you cannot enter, but it's gonna be opening up hopefully soon. Let me see if I get over there without dying. But there is a cave right there. You cannot enter. It's supposed to be a skeleton qua cave. Quave. So I would imagine, okay, resurrect. I don't think I lost anything. But I'm getting so little experience, like, it's difficult. It's way more grindy now at level 15. So all I could do is, like, keep crafting, building that stuff up, and just waiting for the game to expand. So it is nice to get into an early build up, but at a certain point, you're just going to be at a standstill. You're going to get bored. I love the aesthetic. I love the base gameplay. Um, if you go into stats here, let me see, like, skills. You could build up your mining, all that stuff, herbalism, tailoring, wood cutting. Um, let me see what else. Okay, I found what I was gonna show you guys. So in talents here, all your uh, your talents, your attributes, your stats, health, attack power, critical chance, health regen, dodge chance, cooldown reduction, critical damage, magic power, armor, all these types of things. Once you level up, you get so many points that you can allocate to everything and build up certain things. So a lot of character customization in that regard different builds you can reset for 500 gold and reallocate everything at first when i started i was doing a lot of health and then cooldown reduction i didn't notice much in the way of cooldown reduction so i wound up respecking everything just putting every point that i had into attack power instead now your equipment will add to these types of things as well so i mean there's a there's a lot of factors at play here let me see like uh, my flimsy coat, yeah, it's flimsy, plus 139 health, 17th health regen, plus 10 dodge. It's for rogues, level 12. So your equipment, your items will, will add to your stats and whatnot. But before we go, let me show you. Like, we essentially looked at the entire map here. So let me zoom out. We went over this whole thing. You see there's a lot of clouds. So there's a lot of covered area that's going to be expanding where you can see, like, yeah, there's going to be more areas. But we covered everything. You start out down here. 
up this way was where the deer stacks and the elder stag spawns. The graveyard's down there. Up and over here, this is where the blacksmith was. The boars are over here. Up here's that other little village with the lady looking for the love letter. Then over here's the birds, skeletons, and then the yet to be opened up skeleton cave. So if you jump in now, at least you get in early. It's free to play, but there's not a lot to do at this time. There's potential though, and that's what I'm really hoping for, that they just kill it with this game because I like what I see with the groundwork so far. Now they do have a, um, you probably noticed it. There is a, like a gem shop where you could buy mounts and uh, different like cosmetics with actual cash, like to buy gems. I don't think like any of this is relevant. Like there's nothing like, oh, you get a additional experience. It's just all aesthetics. And typically I won't spend money that way, but I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to spend money to enjoy the game. It's just aesthetics. So that's one way I guess that they've monetized the game since it's free to play. But let me know what you guys think. I'm enjoying it, but I'm kind of at that standstill, like I said. Let me know what you guys think. Bye. <laughs>